Sonia, yes. welcome to the Beat Podcast. I'm so excited to have you today. Well, thank you. You are the gift shop manager here at Santa Clara Valley Healthcare, and that's amazing. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do? Well, let's see. I work for the foundation, and the foundation uh, takes care of the um, uh, gift shop for the hospital. So my main um, uh, duties is to train all the volunteers that we get from the volunteer services. And also, you know, I'm the buyer and prepare all the bills and I run it like my own shop. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Gift shops in a hospital. Why is that important as part of what a hospital does? When people think of a hospital, I feel like usually they think of people getting medical care. Why is a gift shop important? Well, you know, that's where everybody, uh, all the employees, patients, and visitors come to when they have an eight-hour day. You know, that's just like some kind of relief. They love having the gift shops because it's a convenience to them for where they can run for a snack or a drink, um, a greeting card, or any small gifts for birthdays or anything, you know, so we're right there and there. It's not what we sell. You know, I'm not there just to sell. I'm there also to help all the patients that we have at the hospital uh, and the therapists. The therapists bring the uh, patients just to get out of the rooms or when they're in a rehab session, they bring into the gift shop and just to see something different. They also give them um, homework, you know, like for the, especially for the uh, patients that have brain injuries. So those are the ones that, are given a homework and they go and pick up items, prices, mm -hmm. but they do great. Some of them are very in events and some of them are not. But, you know, therapists don't give up. They keep coming up and they love that I'm open, you know, so. That's amazing. And I know we were talking a little bit about before this podcast began that it's the gift shop has been open for a long time. Somewhere sounds like in the perhaps 1940s even. In the 40s, And yeah. you serve the staff, you serve the community. I think that's amazing. How did you personally get involved with the gift shop? Uh, and I'd love to talk more about the um, aspect working alongside volunteers as well. Well, let's see. Uh, back in 2014, you know, I was uh, looking for a job. And uh, my husband had a procedure done at the hospital, Valley Med. So I stayed overnight with him. And next morning I was looking for a cup of coffee. So I went to the to the cafeteria and coming back I saw the gift shop and I thought hmm you know and I also saw the sign that says you know we need volunteers so that's how I started I volunteered at the gift shop for one year and then I was offered the job you know so I've been there managing seven years so and it seems to me like yesterday I love it this is my dream job the volunteers also you know they love being at the gift shop and it works both way we help them with school and hours and they need and they help us run the, uh, the gift shop, you know, because it will benefit, it, it will benefit their department as well. What type of people are coming to volunteer there? Are they students most likely or are they people who are looking to get into the medical field or more of a retail space? What are you experiencing there? Mostly students. I mean, you know, students, uh, they want to go into the medical school, you know, whether it's nursing, doctors, or psychologists, or pathology, anything, you know. So it's great. You know, Valimera is the perfect hospital for it, you know. And at the same time, we get uh, retired people. Not as many, though, that we would like to have. But, you know, retired. Some people want to volunteer just because. Mm. They love being... Um, helping people in the community. It's a fantastic place for sure to volunteer, especially if you are somebody who wants to get exposure to what it's like working in a hospital, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a fantastic, just warm environment where you do get to interact with a lot of like-minded people who want to care for the community and then also get to interact with those people receiving that care as well. Mm -hmm. What has your experience been like to get to meet a lot of people coming in for care? Because I know even when I just come there on occasion, I will see people who come there for care and just have wonderful things to say about being here. Yeah. Well, you know, I like I said, you know, I love working with people. Yeah, I'm a people person, you know. So um, I, I love the interaction with all the volunteers, patients, visitors. Um, you know, I get people that leaves the hospital and they still come back just to see me because they're so appreciative that we were there for them when they needed it. And I'm so happy that I was there when they needed me the most. 
Yeah. Again, I think it's amazing that mm -hmm. you're not a physician, but you really are still part of that, you know, holistic approach to medicine as well. It's not just uh, a medication, but it's also that uh, interactive point of care as well. I think that's so important. We also spoke a little bit before this conversation about the proceeds. So this isn't a for-profit uh, gift shop by any means. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, well, you know, the foundation, uh, we run it, right? So it's a nonprofit organization. So we use the proceeds to support volunteer services on all the um, events that they do, which we do for volunteer week. You know, we get them lunch and drinks the whole week for the morning shift and afternoon shift. And that is Christina Egan, because she's the volunteer manager, right? Uh, we do another event almost toward the end of the year. And then uh, where, uh, where we pick three or four volunteers and we give them a, um, you know, they submit an application if they have 200 hours or more. And we pick three or four and then we give them grants. You know, so it depends on how much we have. That's what we allocate to each one of them. With that being said, also, Christina buys snacks, um, water, or any other things that they might want. We want to reward them for their time as well. It's fantastic mm -hmm. that uh, the funds really do go back to the foundation, who in, tor in turn supports just bolstering the, the gift shop even more. Mm -hmm. It's just amazing that people have that mm -hmm. resource here, too. It's kind of like a a little plaza, if you will, where people can meet and people can, uh, you know, get food. Like you said, patients come in and just feel that little community environment of a hospital, which is like a city in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. What would you tell somebody who is uh, considering being a volunteer here and why would you can uh, urge them to be a volunteer and more specifically in the gift shop? The, there are solar departments, you know, that they need volunteers, right? But at the gift shop, I help them and oh, they can help themselves with the... Um, uh, by interacting with people, they um, enhance their social skills, you know, and that helps them to be in a medical field because, you know, you need to be talkative, friendly, you know, and there's a lot of shy volunteers that come in, but with my help, when they leave, they're like, they shine. And also in the retail size, you know, if they want to get a job and stuff, you know, uh, on, on the stores. So that is a big help. Some people, some volunteers have already worked in a retail and they like it, mm -hmm. you know, so and they like the interaction with the people. So you work mostly at the gift shop here at Santa Clara Valley Medical Center, mm -hmm. but a new gift shop just reopened. Can you tell us about that? San Luis Regional Hospital, you know, gift shop, <laughs> the gift shop. So, which is uh, located right in the main uh, in the main building, right by the entrance door, and then you cannot miss it. But on the 17th of October, we reopened the gift shop because during the pandemic that was closed for almost two years, two and a half years, and all the employees were so anxious to have that gift shop open. So. Um, my boss, Christina Salvatier, and I work together, plus with the some of the volunteers at the hospital, original hospital, and the volunteer coordinator recently. he's They, they help a lot to make this happen. So we did the opening on the 17th, and it was a success. You know, people are so happy. Uh, they, they, they come in, they look around. They may not buy anything today, but... You know, they they know what to expect if they need something. So yeah. everybody is really excited, even the visitors as well, mm. because I was going over there um, like six months ago to do inventory, and I will see some of the uh, uh, visitors, and they will say, you know, knock on the door asking me when are we going to open, and they say, you know, we need to come back, and you say that cross for me or anything like that. So. They didn't worry about it because we had enough, you know, so, yeah. uh, but they have come back. Awesome. You know, they have come back and, and, and they say, you know, remember I was here three months ago and I say, yes. So everybody is, uh, so that, that gift shop now is up and running and then we run it with volunteers. So St. Louis Regional Hospital in Gilroy. Gift yes. shop reopened. Mm -hmm. Mission success. That's great to hear. I know we've talked a little bit of high level overview of the importance the gift shop is for the staff, for the patients, 
for you personally, it just must be so fulfilling to work in a place where you get to experience both sides of that, the, uh, the staff, the patient interactions. Has there been an experience for you, um, a moment, uh, just where you really, you know, were able to reflect and to be able to understand the importance of your role here or really just feel that inward sense of this is a great place to be? Well, you know, so I feel needed. You know, I feel like the employees need me there or needs us there to, to have a gift shop open, you know. So for me, it's just a pleasure to to be there. You know, I really enjoy what I do. You know, of all these years, you know, I work in restaurants from banking for 20 years. But of all the jobs, this is the one I'm really happy with. Maybe that also has to do with the people that I work with, that they are like, you know, like a family, you know. They care what I do. They appreciate what I do. So I feel good about it. You know, same thing in the hospital. You know, I like I always say, I always get the best of both worlds, you know, because I work with the people at the foundation, plus also with everybody at the hospital. So it's a great feeling. You get to interact with people all over the place. Yeah. Like you yeah. said, foundation, hospital, patients, you know, units all over the hospital as well. That has to just be so amazing. Mm -hmm. And I will say for people listening, the free coffee in the gift shop is some of the best coffee I've ever had. <laughs> so people <laughs> need you. to be sure to go and get that. <laughs> A free cup of coffee, you know, all day long, you know, so Monday to Friday. Is there anything else that you'd like to share? Anything coming up? Uh, the direction that the foundation and gift shop is headed in? Anything else? Well, you know, uh, we continue to be open because we want to attract right more um, people to come in as like um, employees as well as visitors. You know, right now people are getting used to it. Everything is slowly coming, open up. I mean, opening up, so they're slowly coming back. But they don't at the hospital. They don't let anybody come in from the outside if you don't have any appointments. Mm -hmm. So that kind of hurts a little bit the business, but that's okay. I mean, you know, we eventually it's going to go back up. I love so. to hear that. You're here for the people who are here, and you're here for the people who will come here in the mm -hmm. future. In the future, yeah. Well, Sonia, I, we just thank you so much for joining on The Beat today to share more about you, your role with the gift shop. It's just wonderful what is happening, what has happened, and is to come. And thank you so much again for joining on The Beat. Well, thank you, Nick. I really appreciate it. And I am proud to be here. 